Hello everybody. So I got a new flashlight today um, that I want to show and talk about a little bit. Uh, this this is uh, this is my favorite for a long time. Um, I use this thing constantly, and actually not this particular one. Uh, this was like the last run uh, they made of the SC six hundred W, which is the neutral version or warm version, I should say. Um, and these were actually made with uh, U2 LEDs, so they're a little bit brighter than the than the stated uh, SC600 on the website. You'll see rated at 750. Uh, supposedly, according to ZebraLite, these ones, this last run was a little bit brighter. Um, but before this one, I I actually used this one for a long time, and I pre-ordered this one when they very first came out. Uh, when the SC600 was brand new and so it doesn't have a lanyard ring um, the uh, this part is completely round here as opposed to you can see on this one it's uh, uh, got almost like a hex kind of pattern and I used this one for a very long time um, actually the reflector went bad so I put this I think it's a TIR, or a, 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 but basically it's a plastic lens, um, and I didn't want to send it back to ZebraLite, so I found this online somewhere, and uh, so that I could keep using it. It's still waterproof, but anyway, that's not what the video is about. So I used this for a long time, and then I got this one because I do prefer overall. I do prefer the W or the warm versions um, in general. But the SC600 is just an awesome uh, flashlight, probably my favorite uh, for taking outdoors. It's not as big as the 6330, um, doesn't use three batteries like the 6330, and it still has a, a good deal of brightness. Um, so again, you know, just one of my favorites for, for years now, uh, since the SC600 first came out, before that, just so you know, it was the SC60. Um, it is the light that the SC600 replaced. And I actually have one of those too. Uh, was smaller. Uh, this one had has a uh, an R5. I think it's an R5, but it's a uh, XPG, I believe. And this topped out around 300 lumens. So the SC600 replaced that. And then recently they've come out with a SC600 Mark II, and that's what this video is about. So, um, this is how ZebraLite ships their lights. This is how you receive them in a uh, pretty boring brown cardboard box labeled with the light's model number, um, except for the 6330, um, which is the big, big light. Every, every ZebraLite I've ordered has come in a box just like this. Um, you open it up and you get um, a manual which is which is nice uh, because there are some settings you can access on this light um, that uh, aren't immediately obvious and then the light itself comes uh, packaged nicely I've already opened this one so it already has a battery in it held by these two little pieces of foam and then usually behind this there are some o-rings and, uh, and a pocket clip. I haven't looked at this one yet, but uh, yeah, that's exactly what there is. So you get some spare o-rings and you get a pocket clip. Which I don't usually use with this light, or the SC600 anyway. I didn't use the pocket clip. As you can see I put a lanyard on it. Um, because uh, it's just a little bit too big for EDC. Um, you know, for carrying around every day, I usually carry something like this uh, SC52 size. Um, but that may change, so I'll get this box out of here. That may change because this new SC600 MK2 Mark II is uh, here it is. And if we compare it to the SC600, substantially shorter. I mean, it's not a huge amount, but. That's quite a difference. You know, that little bit does make a difference. And this is a cool white. They haven't released the W version yet. 
Um, I'll probably want to get a, a W version, but I don't know. This one's this one's pretty good, and there are some differences which I'm going to go over here. Uh, hopefully, I don't miss anything. The MK2 um, has a lanyard thing right here. You can take that off if you want the ring at least. Um, some people this this bothers them. I can kind of understand that. Uh, especially if you're going to use it with the pocket clip. Now obviously when I have this thing floating in my bag I put this lanyard on it because uh, it's orange um, it looks kind of cool and it makes it easier to find. Um, so there is a use for this you know it, it would be kind of cool if they figured out another way to do it possibly uh, I mean they could maybe put a hole in the cap here um, you know or or maybe even have an attachment here uh, so that you could attach a, it would be another attachment you know kind of like a prion where you would stick it on there and that would give you a lanyard attachment but anyway uh, this one uh, came very clean anodizing is anodizing is very nice um, I like the I like the greenish kind of anodizing the zebra light ends up with um, Orange peel reflector, uh, as always. I don't know of any zebra lights that uh, don't have an orange orange peel reflector. It's a little bit smaller, I believe. But uh, one thing I've noticed already is that now, obviously, these these lights are going to be different colors because this is a this is a warm and this is a cool. But uh, hopefully, you'll still be able to see this. I'm going to put this on the medium level uh, so it doesn't blast us out. And same with this one and hold them at a similar distance and yeah you can't really tell in the video but it seems to me actually that uh, the new MK2 is uh, has a tighter hotspot and a smaller spill uh, I'm pretty sure actually that that's the case um, ho hopefully I'll shoot another video in the future uh, showing that because you can't really see it here um, they look about the same size here but especially on the camera but this the new one is a little bit tighter the hot spot that's for sure um, this new one incorporates a lot of the features uh, that, that were released originally with the let's see I think it was this one the SC52 um, such as uh, four click will give you a battery indicator so that just blinked four times so basically four times you're close to full three times you know two times it blinks two times you're about halfway etc um, so that's a really nice feature um, they've also put in um, adjustment just like the SC52 they've put in adjustments for um, there's three main levels basically and each of those three main levels uh, has two different levels uh, associated with it. Um, with this one actually there are the, the second level can be configured to uh, one of you know one, two, in some cases three other levels. That's probably confusing but um, I'll put uh, Zebra Light's description in the in the uh, in the description box and hopefully um, it'll, that'll make more sense. But basically if we put this in low which is this is low so then we bl click it twice that's the higher of the two lows that's the lower now if we continue to click this uh, six or seven times it goes into this so now you're changing the second setting of the low um, so this is the lowest low here um, no real usable light although you can see it of course it's daytime um, so that's nice you got a nice uh, very low low and you can actually pick the secondary one uh, just like the SC52 you can also tell in this picture uh, or in this part of the video hopefully you can tell the tint on this particular one is really pretty nice um, there are reports of a lot of green greenish tints sorry about that hit the camera a lot of greenish tints um, this one is not very green 
um, which I am happy about. Um, another thing they've changed since the SC600 uh, is the they've incorporated and some people like this some people don't but they've incorporated the the actual LED onto uh, the circuit board so that's how they managed to make it smaller um, and hopefully we can yeah you can see down in there um, James I James at Zebralite actually told me that you could um, actually get water inside here and it, uh, not that they recommend it, I'm sure, but you could actually get wa you know, water inside here and because of the way it's designed, that water would be separated um, from the electronics, which is pretty cool. Um, hopefully you can see that down in there. Whereas on the SC600 the first versions, well this one has a spring but you can see the electronics down in there and then the you know the oldest, uh, the first SC600's um, actually had no spring down in there they just had a contact so this is, you can see how they've progressed, this is, this is the first SC600 just the contact point down in there, you can see the circuit boards board this one they upgraded to uh, a spring which helps you know minimize vibration etc and also gives a little flexibility as far as uh, the, the batteries you're going to use so they upgraded to this for the uh, later on in the SC600 life and the new SC600 MK2 you can't see the circuit board at all um, so you know, like a, like a, like a lot of companies, they're using CQI um, constant. Uh, I think it's CQI anyway. Um, but Spyderco, for instance, is another company that uses this, and it's basically um, I can't remember right now actually what it stands for, but it's basically they are always improving, um, always trying to make improvements uh, to make a better product, even inside of the same model. You know, this is how the SC600 start started, and this is how it ended. Um, and you know, they make changes each time as they come up, as they come up with them, which I appreciate um, very much. So I think that's about it. Very excited to get this light. This is actually a Eagle Tech 3400 milliamp. Um, the jacket ripped so I had to put a new jacket on it um, but that fits no problem that's a, that's a fairly uh, large battery I have heard of some problems in some lights with the Eagle Tech uh, 30, 3400 milliamp battery but it works and fits in this one just fine and now you've got 3400 milliamps uh, which is a lot of battery power and a nice uh, small package. I mean, the SC600 was considered uh, a tiny flashlight uh, for the longest time, and uh, as you can see, they've uh, they've bested that even by I think it's four or five millimeters. So uh, that's the SC600 MK2. Um, I'd like to do a uh, outside shot with this so hopefully in the next you know week or so um, I'll be able to get outside and and compare these two um, you know out more directly I guess as far as beam shot but but I did notice that, again the hot spot is tighter on this um, probably because they had to change I'm sure the reflector is different because the uh, to me it looks smaller I'm sure you can see that almost looks a little deeper but anyway that's the zebra light sc600 mk2 see the nice knurling there really nice flashlight uh, in my opinion and 
really pretty amazing what they've packed into this little uh, this little this little bugger so uh, any questions comments let me know I'd love to hear them and uh, thanks to all my subscribers and uh, we'll see you on the next video guys